because you realize, okay, all this thing that I'm giving a hard time to myself and I'm beating myself up for all my mistakes, where are they? They're just thoughts, aren't they? You're thinking about it and you're blaming yourself. But if you're not thinking, so you're in silence, there's no thoughts. Peace comes, bliss comes. So we call it mind fucking, basically. And I have a lot of friends that they're in this process. Constantly, they're blaming themselves for the things they've done. I mean, some of them I get together and they just go on and on and on and I have to kind of stop them. It's like, okay, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Let's, let's enjoy the hike. Let's enjoy this moment. Let's not get out of here. And then you're on a beautiful hike in the nature. And what happens is the nature reflects back your inner silence. So you become quiet. You dive into this place. And your mind goes away. And these issues, these things that you're so worried about go, go away too. And if you have the training and the understanding, then you catch yourself every once in a while, which is also a part of the program too. None of it is like you're doing it. But when the understanding comes and reveals itself, your life changes in that way because peace comes. It doesn't give you a power to make money or manipulate people to get what you want. No, what it does, it surrender comes and then it becomes peaceful. Acceptance comes, you're accepting. Anybody else? No? Hey, Amir, am I, when I go to the gallery, are you there? Uh, yes. Mr. Amir? Yeah, when yeah. I go to the gallery, am I still pinned or? Yes, you are. Okay, All right. There's another interesting part is the deeper you go into the understanding, somebody send us a message. Okay, there's a question somebody's asking. Uh, we have a question here, man. What about soul evolution? Does the soul evolve through experiences? So, yeah, it appears. There's an appearance. It appears that we're evolving. It looks like it. There's an appearance that it looks like we're evolving. But at the very core, that which has always been here is already complete. But in the world of appearance like this, it appears that we're evolving. It looks like it.
But when you go in deep silence and you sit here and you're here and you're not thinking, you're in deep silence, then who's evolving? See, this whole idea about, let's say, I'm in control of my life and I'm the one who manifests things. So I have the power with my thoughts. I can create things, attract good or bad things because I'm using the power of my thoughts. Okay, so this idea, this concept versus this other idea, this concept that there is no free will and there's nothing you can do about any of it so aren't they both concept thoughts you're thinking of something but when you go into deep silence and you're completely still and you're silent there's no mind everything disappears None of, none of these things exist anymore. And there's nobody there paying any attention to any of it because there's no thoughts. There has to be thoughts for someone like you or me to exist. If there's no thoughts, then where is Zarathustra? I mean, there's a body that operates but where is this whole story of the person, of me? This is my life. I need to take care of it. I really need to worry about it. I'm, I'm really worried about the future of the world. Oh, my God, what's going to happen? Where is this going to go? All of it is because of thoughts. And that thought originates from the me, the I thought, me being a separate entity, because I'm separated from the world. Now I need to worry about the world. But I am the world. So I'll worry about what part of it. It's all itself. How can I worry about? I only worry about it when I come into this position of separateness. I'm separated from it, so I'm worried about it. But when I'm not thinking and I'm one with it, so there's no thoughts of worrying about anything. So what happens to the worry? So where does the world go? The world's not going to go anywhere. It's always here. Nothing's going to happen to it. So you don't need to worry about the world. It's always here. It's always been here and it's always going to be here. It's not going to go anywhere. It changes its shape, but it doesn't go anywhere. It's here. Life's not going to end. Life is. It's always been. So you don't need to worry about the future of planet Earth. First of all, you're not going to be around for that because the planet's been around for billions of years and it's going to be around for another, I don't know, how many million years, and you won't be here. So don't worry about it. You don't need to sit down and concern yourself about it. You're only here for another 30, 40 years. So don't worry about planet Earth. Don't waste your time trying to figure it out. It's wasting your time. 